Possum up a Simmons. Hey guys, Keith again here. The Ramshackle Homestead with Keith and Jen. And was lucky enough to uh, kill this doe last night with a longbow, or it's a button buck rather. I thought it was a doe at the time. And uh, what I'm gonna do today is just, uh, deer's already been field dressed. I'm gonna skin it and kind of address how you would have uh, kept the meat clean as you were skinning and processing the deer. Uh, say if you were out in the woods where you didn't have a table or some place to lay it. And of course, this was all before the advent of plastic bags or plastic wrap. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get this deer skin out and maybe I'll show you a neat trick. Maybe it'll be something you've already learned years ago. First thing we're gonna do is any gentleman would We're gonna put our hunting frock on so we don't get our uh, waistcoat and our undershirt all bloody and icky. We'll let our frock take uh, one for the team. All right, we're ready to get to it. Now we are gonna tan this hide. So what I'm gonna do is make a ring around the hams, come down both sides, then we'll peel it down. This little guy's not hardly big enough to get a neck roast out of. So I'm not gonna deal with the neck. Main thing I'm gonna be after, I'm gonna get the hams, the back strap, the tenderloins, and the shoulders. Uh, if it was a bigger deer, we go for the neck and the ribs, but this little guy won't have much meat on him at all. So we'll let the chickens pack that. I'm using the, uh, a Josh Reisman Rifleman knife. Check Josh out on Facebook. Uh, hell of a blacksmith. Makes one outstanding piece of cutlery. Cut through the tailbone.
All right, so I got the hide off. Uh, nice thin little hide. Young deer, it's my favorite kind of tan. But what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna spread it out on the ground beside the deer, hide side, hair side down rather, flesh side up. And as we cut our pieces of meat and our cuts off, we're gonna stack it on this hide. So what I like to do, start here at the bottom with these little shoulders, run my knife plate up in behind. There we go, we can lay that out. Got the next one. Same thing right in behind it. Lay that on the hide. Start with this offside ham, my non hanging side, cut up to the bone. Find that joint, that comes off. Notice I'm using nothing but this Reitzman knife, no saw, no axe, or anything. I will take a belt axe and split the pelvic cavity, which I did last night, and that'll allow you to get that small intestines and the bladder out without bursting it and uh, possibly tainting your meat. Next, we're gonna take his back straps out. What you could do with the rib cage and all your scrap meat and what you should do, which we don't have time to get into today, but that's all your grinding meat. That's for your sausages, your grounds, uh, your meat of that nature. So this whole carcass can be scavenged with a knife and still lots of good meat on there and uh, lots of jerky possibilities. All I'm really doing today is just breaking it down for you as a in the field situation and how to pack it out on the hide. And now that we're down to nothing but the ham that's left hanging, uh, I am gonna take this ax and pop that joint just a little bit because it is such a big joint and I don't have anything to get a lot of leverage on now that the deer is almost completely clean. So just take a belt ax, cut around the joint, just give it a couple of taps, it'll pop right off. That easy. There's our last ham. Delicious looking little morsel.
Okay, as you see, we have the hide spread out, the deer cut up, quartered up, ready to go, laid on the hide, and uh, no dirt, no leaves, and it's ready for the uh, finishing processing. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching again today here at Ramshackle Homestead. Remember to check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and please subscribe here on YouTube. And if you get a chance, hit Josh Reitzman up for a really well-made knife. Till next time, take care.